Hello, this is Ash Pass. I'm going to demo for you here a free Windows software utility called the Effectuator 2000. It lets you use the exported patch group files from Edit and Share to make global settings to your patch group. We can change all amps to be a certain cabinet. We can change all drives to have a certain gain. Um, all sorts of different things that you might want to do that span across several patches instead of just the Edit and Share software letting you modify one patch at a time. Now, the software works with the G3 version 2 software, G3X, and G5. Essentially all three of those share the same drives, amps, and reverb models. We're going to start off looking at the amp tab. On the left we have all of our amp models. In the middle, not enabled yet, we have all the parameters for any amp. When we run the process later, any amp that's checked on the left hand side, no matter where it is, is going to be updated to whatever settings we define in the middle. Now the drive tab works the same way. We have drives listed on the left, settings that we can change on the right. Reverb, again similar logic. Reverb's on the left, settings in the middle. And lastly we have patch. Not a whole bunch to do here but we'll be able to change the level globally so that all of our patches have the exact same level. Alright, let's get back to edit and share and see what we can do here. I'm currently looking at the presets for the G3 version 2 or G3X. I'm going to start off looking at the Layla patch and the three items we can see on screen. Notice here we have the governor Gain is 27, tone is 87, level is 150. What I'm going to do using the Effectuator 2000 is change all instances of the governor pedal to my own personal settings for gain, tone, and level. That way they'll all be the same across all the patches. Now what I'm also going to do is touch every one of the amps and turn the cabinet off. Now I can hear just the amp models and hear them how they're supposed to sound and hear them how they're normally going to sound through my amps with my cabinets. I'm also going to touch every reverb unit so that it starts in the off state. Now here you can see with the room reverb, as soon as I touch the Layla patch, it is on. You'll see the green light. And you notice patch level equals 100. We'll change that to something different in just a little bit. First thing we need to do is get all of the presets saved or exported out of Edit and Share. So I'm going to start with the G3 group that we're already looking at. And I'm going to right click on the group and select Export. I'll accept the file name that they're already given me and click Save. That's part one. Now we're going to get into the Effectuator 2000, load that file, and see what happens when we make some changes. Okay, let's go ahead and load. I'll click the load button. And there's my G3 presets patch group. I'll select it and click open. Notice now that we have a file open, all the options in the middle are enabled. We can make any changes we want. Now since we're on AMP, uh, remember what I said I wanted to do with all the amps was to turn off the cabinet. So I'm going to come down and select cab and from the drop down list, although you won't be able to see it because it's off the video screen, I'm going to select no cab. And here you can see it now. So when we process in a moment, every item listed here, every one of our models is going to have its cab changed to be off. Now let's move on over to drive. Now let's see, for drive, we're going to change all of the governors so that they have my own special favorite settings. First, I want to uncheck all the drive items, so I'll click check none. Then I'll come in and find the governor and put a check next to it. So that's the only drive effect that's going to be modified. I'm going to change gain, tone, and level. Gain is going to be 20, 
tone is going to be 90 and level is going to be 40. Yeah, let's keep on going. In the reverb, I mentioned that I wanted to have them all start up off instead of on. So I'm going to leave all the reverbs checked, select the power, select the power setting, and change that to off. And the last thing I wanted to do was go to patch and change the level of all my patches to 66. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and click process and we'll see what we get. So here the processing is finished and it's telling me now to give it a file name. So I'm going to call this one G3 test and then just click save. Now let's get back to the edit and share software and import that patch group we just created. I need to just click once on PC and then right click on PC so that I can select import. And up here in the list we have my test and then the regular presets that we had before. So I'm going to select G3 test and then open. And here we are. Let's take a look at that Layla patch. So I have Layla. First off, let's see if the governor has the changes or my special settings. Gain is 20, so that one works. Tone is 90, and level is 40. Exactly what I told the Effectorator 2000 to change them to. Now on the amps, I specified that I wanted no cabs or cab off for all amps. Next thing I did was I wanted all of the reverbs to start off in off mode, or with the power off. Notice here the room reverb, power is not on. It's just waiting for me to use it if I want to. And the last thing we did was change the patch level. And you'll notice here, patch level is 66. All right, let's take a look at another patch here, one that's got the governor in it as well. I want to make sure that these changes did affect every instance. So what we're going to do is go to the Tropicana patch. And here's the governor again. Let's check it. Gain is 20. Tone is 90. Level is 40. On my amp, cab is off. Patch level, 66. Now I could browse through every one of these patches and show them to you. They all are going to have the same things. All amps have been changed so that the cab is off. All reverbs have been changed so that they start in the off power mode. And all instances of the governor have my personal settings saved on them. So that's pretty much it. That's what this little software does, Effectuator 2000. It lets you load a patch group file created by Edit and Share make global changes so that we can then import those changes as a new patch group into our G3 or G5 units. Now if you like this software, you want to check it out, you think it looks good, there's a link to it in the comments for this video. You can also find all my G3 and G5 stuff on my Zoom page at ashbass.com.